All right, everybody, welcome back to today's Bowling Point. Today, we're going to talk about the lever bell yet again. So, we're going to talk about a squat. Well, he's going right into it there. We really love this drill. So, what we're focusing on here is making sure that you're not letting the weight pull you forward, okay? At any point when you're squatting, you want to focus on sitting back into your heels, all right? So, this is going to be a great barometer of that. So, basically, what we want to try to focus on is keeping this top head from falling down. I would actually tell Sean to bring this a little bit higher. Bring it higher. Right? Oh, well, yeah. Keep it bringing the whole. Well, this is the coaching live right here, folks. And try to sit back. So you can see now he's a lot more upright, but he's really challenged from his anterior core and his upper back muscles as well, okay? So again, it's gonna train you to squat as deep as you possibly can. Again, the, the depth is very relative. Squat as best as you can while maintaining that neutral position in your spine, okay? Once I see anyone start to tip forward, boom, that's too far for him, okay? For this drill, all right? So squatting ATG is not always great for somebody, all right? You gotta find the spot that focuses on getting them the benefit of the movement. Again, the lever bell will help you do that, all right? So he's gonna keep that contraction nice and tight. Again, as you squat, Anytime you're doing any sort of lift, you want to focus on as if you're doing a plank. And this is really going to bring that home. And you also, too, getting some residual upper back strengthening, which we all, all need, all right? Grip strength, forearm strength. Again, great, great, great drill. Again, it doesn't have to be a lot of weight. This is only seven pounds of reference, all right? So again, the lever bell. Again, if you have questions, hit us up. Leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. All right? Have fun, and we'll catch you next time.